All the guns you'll be seeing today are available on solware.co.uk based in Tamworth. Hello, it's match day 14 in the Airgun Battle League PCP edition for the Bull Pups. Uh, we've got two guns today that have been slightly underachievers to be fair and now they're a lot better than what they've done in this league. And we've got the Trimex Arms Elf S up against the Kral Puncher Knight. Now both guns have only won one game each, obviously one of them will end up winning two here because it's their last game in the uh, in the league but one of them will take away a two or maybe a draw, we don't really know but uh, seriously they should have done better, they, they are better guns than what they've shot on the day here. So hopefully today we do get to see their class and they can show us exactly what they're all about. Let's get them out there, let's see whether they can achieve that. It's round one, punch your knife to go first, top left hand corner of the left hand card. Perfect bullseye to start with. Good shot from the puncher knight. Try myself. Can he match him? I'm going to shoot that off. I think it's a double load. Yeah. Okay, now we can go. That's a 10. A 10 for the night. It seems to have a seems to be shooting well today to be fair, which I know that gun can do. And that's what's been the upsetting part about it. Another 10 for the Alf and again another gun I know can shoot really well and for some reason just hasn't excelled in this league. Another 10 for the noise. I think these two today are trying to make their last statement in the league saying they are decent guns and it's a bit too late really but uh, it's still nice to see them perform well. Another 10 for the Elf. As I was saying, these two guns not really performed well in the league like I would have expected them to, but they are very capable guns. Another 10. On his way to the big full house there is the puncher knight. Another 10 for the Elf. The last one, can this be a full house? I think it would be nice for him to finish with a good score. Yeah, it's a full house, 50 scored for the night. Now, just to even it up, Can the elf do the same? He can. So, first round, both guns who have not been performing well have hit the full house 50 50. We'll move on to round two. It's round two. Can these guns continue with their 100% record in this, uh, in this game? I'm not sure if that's out of pellets. No, it's not. 
so I've no idea what's the matter there. Mm. That's what's the matter, it's stuck the pellet to the probe and it's damaged the pellet. Mm. Something to watch out for there. Okay. It's a 10 for the night to start off with. Keeping that 100% record alive, I do believe when I cock this, this is going to need some pellets. I think it's out. Yeah, I was right to think that. So I'll quickly reload on this. When we uh, when we put all these guns through the pellet matching system, like you know, to make sure that they've got a pellet before they do these leads that suits them, and obviously will perform on the day. Uh, it's nice to see games like today so far where they're hitting 100% because um, really and truthfully, this game the idiot who's shooting the guns, by the way, they should do really well because they've been. You know they've had some time took on them to uh, to get to this stage, so it is nice to see them when they do perform as they should. Okay then, can the elf keep up? It's hundred percent. Here we go. Yeah, it's a ten. Now wouldn't it be nice if one of these guns, even though they've not really performed, could actually to full house and get the 135. Ah. That's saying there's nothing there. So even though it loaded, it's saying there was nothing there. Uh, Went a bit strange there. I don't know if we had a bad pellet in that, to be honest with you, that uh, stuck to the uh, loading probe. After this is filled up, we should easily get to the end now with both guns re really topped up. I do try to have a look for anything with a damaged skirt when I when I load them, but uh, if you do miss them, I mean it's hard to see sometimes when they've got a little bit of an indentation and things like that. But you know they've they've been tested and this is the pellet that suits them best so another 10 for the knight who keeps his 100% up Elf's dropped a point there, it's it annoying. So, can the knight? Yeah, that's in the same hole. So the knight's keeping up his 100% record. a better shot for the elf.
having trouble with, I don't know if the magazine's playing up in the night, it's having trouble to load at a regular basis now. It's another 10. I think this is the last one for the night. I think this is his fifth shot, if I remember right. So. And puts that one straight through the middle for a still 100%, 100 points in the first two rounds the night. Although he's had a sticky magazine. Yeah, that's a 10. So the Elf as well, uh, I only dropped one point. You got a 99 and a 100 as we go into our final round. Both guns here can still score really high. It's round three, and as we know, this is where the big points are. 35 points up for grabs there. Uh, punch an item first. Let's see what he can do. Takes his first five points, no problem. The elf. Yeah, gets his five points. I don't know if you're noticing, but when the elf hits the paper, it seems to do a massive rip. I don't know if that's because he's kicking out a fair bit of power or it's just the way the pellet lands in, I'm unsure. It's another big five for the knight who's going for the full house and he's trying to take the one three five today I think. Another five for the elf, also shooting really well today. If you discount that, for, it's you know, we're talking very small margins. He's still going, no mistakes made. Elf two. Still a chance for a one three four, which is a fantastic score, you know, for the elf for any gun really. Here we go again. We've got one that don't want to load. Right. And that is why this magazine's look at that, it's loaded one sideways. How about that? No wonder you can't load anything. That's a bit easier. Just. Only just. Ooh. I'm wondering if that was anything to do with that bad loaded pellet. Seems to be a couple of misshaped ones there of the acupels and I think they're causing a little bit of trouble when they're loading in the gun. Mmm, gotta keep an eye on those. And that one's a very close one as well, but it does count. I, I am going to check that one of the knights at the end because it's right on the edge, that one is. Now, can you get the bonus for the full 135? Yep, 
he's got the bonus now as long as that one's there he's done a one three five today if not the elf can still take today if he hits the bonus now so a lot on this shot really It has, you know. I think he's ripped that. I'm going to go and get the cards in and uh, have a look at it closely. It's hard to see through the scope, so I'll just make a good check on that. Right, I've got the card. Very tense. If you're a Krell Puncher Knight fan, I'm sorry, it didn't do the 135, but it did do a very good 130. However, if you're a Trimax Arms Elf fan, you only scored 20 in the last round, the bonus shot wasn't a hit. So, yeah, a bit of a shame there. Neither gun completed it and they had the chance to there, the full round. But today the win goes to the Kral Puncher Noise, who will help his way up the table a bit more. Bit of a shame, as I say, these two guns. And um, it's a bit of a shame that uh, whatever's been going on there with the pellets, I've been having a look at this pellet that uh, got stuck in the crawl, that's not an Accupel, it's a different pellet so I've got a feeling inside that tub there's a, a few pellets from a different brand in there somewhere, maybe got mixed up in manufacturing or wherever. So yeah it's those that are getting stuck and all I'm hoping is now the pellet there that just missed wasn't another one of those different branded pellets and it's uh, knocked it out of the 135, be a massive shame if it was, um, as you can imagine when I'm loading a hurry it's very hard to check and see, so I couldn't say, but uh, that's the inquest over and it's the Kral Puncher Knight who wins match day 14, see you very soon in the very last and final one in the ball puppet edition and we'll be able to crown our champion, bye now.